Hey, this is Daniel over at Josh's Frogs. Today we're gonna go over our tell-all video on Chinese cave geckos. We're gonna go over their proper diet, how to house them, how to breed them, and how to hatch them, and keeping the little babies when they hatch. So stick around and watch this awesome video. We're gonna first start off by showing you this awesome little baby here that just hatched last night. Now when they first hatch, they are jet black. Their bands are coming in. You got white at the tail, yellow's coming on here, and then blood red eyes and black pupils. That is what really makes this animal an amazing creature. Now in the cage, you're immediately gonna see that we're using a cocoa husk. You can also use the ground cocoa husk. That also works very, very well. Now we're gonna go ahead and we put a hide in there for them and then the little plant just so we can feel extra secure and it also gives a little extra surface area. So when we go ahead and mist in there, there's droplets of water for the animal to get. And also you always wanna have a water dish in there. Now, we're gonna go over their diet. Their diet's pretty simple. We like to keep their diet strictly in a mealworm cup. We do nothing but baby dubia roaches with a multivitamin. Now you can also supplement with mealworms with a multivitamin and crickets but we find that the dubia roaches really do do the best. Now your temperature with these guys are very simple. Room temperature, that's all. 70 to 75 degrees is what they do best at. Now at night, if it drops a little bit low into the high 60s, you're just fine as long as it's for a short period of time. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, now that we've taught you how to care for them, we're gonna go ahead and show you some awesome geckos that we've produced this year. This is gonna be more of your traditional, normal Chinese cave gecko. You notice how this one's not jet black anymore. This is what they do when they flame down. Now, some of you with other animals understand what flaming down means, some of you don't. Now, that's where an animal can change the tone of its color a little bit. Now, this one will go from jet black to this beautiful grayish purple. Now, this one also has the traditional yellow bands with the white bands. Next, we're going to go ahead and show you one of our citrus banded ones, which instead of having those gorgeous yellow bands, this is going to have orange bands. Now, we have found with our orange banded, citrus banded ones, that their eyes tend to almost be more blood red. They're just a magnificent, gorgeous, gorgeous animal. And you see how this one's more flamed up? See how he's darker than the other one was? Now, this one also will flame down into that purplish gray also. Now we're going to go ahead and show you two adults. Now the cool thing about this one is we have a citrus banded adult right here and then we have a normal uh, Chinese cave gecko right there. Now this is your traditional yellow, orange right here where this is your traditional yellow. Now when you really get them good and close you can really see that difference and it really is a really cool thing to see that orange. Now, some people don't like the purple, but me, I love it when they get that nice purple flame down like that. I think that just looks absolutely stunning. All right, now the time that you guys have all been waiting for. We're gonna show you how we breed our Chinese cave geckos. Now in here, we like to have a nice lay box for the females to go in, which traditionally they don't use it nearly as much as we would like because they really do like laying in the ground cocoa husk anywhere in the cage. Now you'll tend to see them pile it up. You'll see your little branches piled up when you find your eggs or not. But we also like to have two food dishes in here so they don't have to compete for food. So when you first put those baby roaches in there and they're all going after it, they don't feel like they have to compete. We also like to have multiple hides for these guys so they can find a safe, secure spot without feeling like they are being threatened by others. Also, you're gonna have a nice water dish in here. And all you're gonna do is go through and mist it down from time to time when you need to on a regular basis. Now with your eggs, you're gonna incubate those at room temperature and they're gonna incubate for anywhere between 60 and 90 days. And then you're gonna get eggs every 30 to 45 days during the season, two eggs per clutch. So I hope this video has been really helpful to you guys. Um, 
Any questions you have, just comment below. I will try to get to them. I hope this video was helpful, and I hope you guys enjoy getting a cave gecko from us soon.